Hey, I wanted to give you guys this update. We have been getting Lulu out and about to places this week, mainly um, to start to work on generalizing a lot of the behaviors she's working on at home and also just getting her used to the car. So the car has been something that she struggles with. Um, she is doing a lot better about getting into the car. I don't make her jump in, but I do want her to feel comfortable enough to put her paws on. And then if I need to load her up, that's fine. Um, but the first couple of times getting her in the car, she would just flatten on the cement. And so now she's to the point where she can put her paws up there. Um, and then as we get her out and about, we're working on the same things that we're working on at home. So we're using our food, we're using our leash and the prong collar and the e collar and keeping the training the exact same so so when she's out in public the rules are the same and even though we have distractions and it can be a little bit harder for her she can start to generalize where she understands wherever I go I don't pull on the leash wherever I go I when I'm asked to sit I do so or lay down um, and so we can start to be really clear and bringing in new situations for the dog and so they start to see see lots of things and so as we're walking she's doing really good occasionally I need to give some reminders here and there about her positioning there's times where she wants to go ahead due to distractions as we're walking through this food aisle her nose was getting the better of her so I gave her a couple little leash checks and as I'm doing so I'm tapping on the e-collar and so she can start to understand when I feel the e-collar it makes sense because the leash is giving a very clear direction to her um, and the food comes in when she is compliant with the command I'm asking. So if she's not sitting and I pop the leash and then I tap the e-collar button, once her bottom hits the ground, then she gets food. And so it's really, really clear picture for her, both the negative and the positive. And so she understands what she's supposed to be doing. Um, and then we also have just distractions. So all the time we're working off of other dogs, um, it's important for uh, to create more of a neutral tone when we're out and we're working um, with other dogs. So she's very social and um, we want to just make sure that she's not pulling at the end of the leash to say hi to other dogs, especially if she knows them and especially if she doesn't know them because we don't know if that dog's going to be nice. But um, we just want to make sure that she's being completely neutral. So I'm not letting her engage, even though she knows this dog and she plays with this dog all the time. Um, it's time to work. And so that way we can carry out more of a neutral tone out and about with her and she's doing really good so I'm really proud of the progress she's made so far um, she's eager to learn very sweet she's a good puppy